keeping it here on Pets on Parade. Our next kitten is quite the miracle. I'm so glad that someone found this little guy, Lisa. I know, one of those real men construction workers out there found this itty bitty kitty out at a, a, a construction site. And luckily we have such good animal friends, they brought him to us and he was raised uh, and checked out in our bottle baby ICU that we have. Um, he was just tiny when he first came in. Luckily, Michelle, one of our volunteers, love with this spunky little guy, is a little brown tabby, and she took him home so that he gained weight and grew up big. As you can see, he roughhouses with the best of them. He's not afraid of tractors, and he's good with other pets, and he will definitely keep you on your toes, very playful and talkative. So if you're thinking of John Deere, there's all the tractor you could need right here. Yeah, for all of our Midwest people at, at heart. <laughs> now, Gandalf the Grey is a great character from Lord of the Rings, but I think Grey the dog is even more of a character, even though he's kind of being a little calm right now, Perry. <laughs> <laughs> and he is appropriately named Grey with the old salt and pepper look going on here. He's nine years young. He uh, came into us from a transfer from a local animal clinic, another 24-7 emergency clinic, and he had a really bad deep laceration in his back, which he went into our second chance animal trauma hospital and had surgery. While we were in there, we noticed there has a deep pocket of infection. He smells the treats right now. He is all healed right now. He is doing very, very well. However, he is, like I said, he's nine years, but he's very, very frisky. He has a couple of masses on his body, which older dogs tend to have, but they are considered to be benign, so he's just doing very well. Come on over here. We're gonna show you everybody how you can sit. Uh, look at that. This is a wonderful little boy right here. You know, there's so many advantages to the seeing your pets, and you're seeing one of them right now. He's very well trained. He sits by your side, which is what dogs do. They provide companionships, and nobody does it better than a senior pet like this. You know what you're getting. This is his size. You know his personality. He's not going to have any of the chewing, any issues, the destruction issues. He's just going to be a great companion for you. And uh, he's got quite a few years left, but let's make them really, really good ones. This, he's going to the front of the camera and saying, I am gray. <laughs> and he is cute. Thank you, Perry. And now for any balanced diet, you definitely need some fruits in there. Denise, please tell us about these couple of fruity kittens with ya. Yes, I have Clementine, and then Banana is so excited about his trip to the three TV studio that he has fallen asleep. Um, actually, these guys are very playful and their foster family said that they sometimes enjoy playing in the litter box. So what we recommend is that you have lots of different options for toys instead of the litter box. So you can use paper bags or boxes and cut holes in them and put a ping pong ball in the box so the cats can bat it around. Come on down and get yourself some fruit today. Oh, yes, that's right. Thank you. And now that's it for today's show. If you want, have, want to have any more information about any of our pets, make sure you visit our website or call us. And make sure that you sign up for our awesome summer camps. We are going to see you next week. Thank you so much.